Hello and welcome to this week's video tutorial for Game Maker for Beginners. Um, in previous weeks we've created our level with our score and with our lives and with our coins and with enemies that move. Um, this week we're going to try and make it a bit more interesting and we're going to introduce a weapon system into the game. So if we load up the pre-made game that I did earlier, what we're going to try and do is oh, quickly install this, is we're going to try and create a game where our player can now fire bullets and the bullets will fire in the direction that our player is pointing at. When the bullets hit the enemies, the enemies will be destroyed and it'll add a, another interesting competitive slant to our game. So, we'll just wait for this to load up. Slowly, slowly. So, when we start off, we see our game's like it was before. We've got the player and the coin spawned. But if you notice now, uh, the player is rotating and moving in the direction my mouse is. And when I click the mouse button, it fires a stream of bullets. And when the bullets hit the enemies, if you see there, it destroys them. And that's what we're going to aim to do today. And obviously your bullets can be quicker than mine. They're a little bit slow. But that's the basic aim. So let's get started. Okay. The first thing we've got to do, uh, as normal, is to make a sprite for our bullet. So any new object that's going to have a visual appearance, we need to create a sprite. So right click sprites and click create a sprite. We're going to call this bullet SPR for sprite. And we're going to click the edit sprite button so we can go into Game Maker's inbuilt um, image editor. And if we click the create a new sprite icon there, and this sprite will make it a bit smaller and we won't use all of the space so I've set a height of 20 by 20 pixels for the width and height click OK and we'll double click to zoom in so for my sprite I'm just gonna create a very very simple there we go wonderful stuff and click the tick button so we're done and we'll click center and click OK so that's our bullet sprite done now we get to the the more interesting meaty part and this is where we're going to make the the bullet object and then we're going to make our avatar fire it. Now the bullet object we right click and create a new object. This is going to be a very very simple object so there's not going to be much to it we're just going to call it bullet obj and for the sprite we set the bullet sprite we've just created as the sprite for the object. We make sure that it's ticked visible so we can see it but we don't want it to be solid so make sure the solid box remains unticked and that's all we need to do for that if we click OK that's the bullet done now comes the hard part go into your avatar object the player and we need to add some things in here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the avatar uh, that when we click the mouse left button it's going to create a bullet so go add event and we're going to go to the mouse event and if we click the mouse it will come up with a sub menu the option we want is the option that says global mouse right down at the bottom and it's global left button. The reason we want a global left button and not the left button option is the global option means that whenever we press the left mouse button in the game it will do this. If we just selected the left button option it, may, it would tell GameMaker that whenever we click the avatar object with the left button with the mouse over it we do it but we don't want that we want our mouse to be anywhere on the screen and be able to click the left button and make the button so click global left button and we'll go global left button released and that means it'll only make the new object when we tell it to in a minute when we release the left button so we won't have that machine gun effect so we've got our event which is going to be our trigger global left button on the mouse and now we want to do a create a moving object which is the yellow object icon with the green arrow above it and if we drag that across first thing we can do is set the object's sprite to our bullet object uh, and then we're going to click relative and this says that if we leave x and y zero zero then it means wherever our avatar is on the screen the bullet will spawn directly where it is so zero zero on its coordinates if we untick relative it'll always spawn in the top left hand corner and we don't want that we we'll set the speed to 5 or 6, something faster than your avatar is, and we set the direction of it to image underscore angle. Now what this means is it's going to create, when we click the 
the left mouse button we're going to create a moving bullet object it's going to spawn at our zero coordinates so wherever our avatar is it's going to move at a speed of six and it's going to move in the direction that the image the avatar is facing so whatever the avatar is facing it's going to move in that direction click OK now at the minute our avatar is always going to face immediately to the right so that's not very good so what we need to do now is we need to add in a step event okay so we go add event step and select step from the three options there and this step event means that every single step of the game and remember there's 30 steps to a second so every single step of the game it's going to tell our avatar to face the mouse now the way we do this we've got our step event as our trigger and what we need to do now is we need to input a little bit of code so if you go to the control tab and then select the execute code action and drag that across we're going to use some very simple game maker language often referred to as GML now what we're going to type in here we have to be very careful and very specific what we type is we're going to type in image underscore angle you can see how it goes red and we're going to put equals and then we're going to go point underscore direction and then we're going to go open brackets x comma y comma and then mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y and then we're going to close brackets there and with any piece of coding we need to end it and there we go fantastic so our semicolon at the end there let me explain this this coding to you coding is a way of um, telling the program how to work and how to do something in its native language game maker works on a coding called gml or game maker language um, what we're doing here is we're saying that the image angle of our objects the, for whatever we've done the code for in this case the avatar object the image angle so the ang angle it's pointing at should be the angle we're pointing at with the mouse okay so wherever the mouse is on screen that is where our image our object is going to point towards so if we click the tick button so we've done that and let's give this a test so if we click OK now oh there's one more thing we need to do actually click OK the last thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure that whenever a bullet hits the enemy the enemy dies so if we go into our enemy object and we're going to go add event and we're going to go a collision event with the bullet and what we're saying is when the bullet hits the enemy object we want the enemy object to die and well to be destroyed so to do this we go to our main one sub menu of the actions and we drag across the little recycling bin that's destroy instance and what we want to do is we want to make sure that when the bullet hits the enemy it destroys the enemy so self click OK and then we'll drag it back over again and we also want it to destroy the bullet which is the other object so click other so we have a bullet object collision event and then we've got two different destroy instances actions one for the self which is the enemy object and one for the other object which is the bullet and if we click OK now this should work so we're going to click preview and it will compile our game level just wait for that to load get rid of my mouse here we go so we can move around there we go and we see that now our avatar is following wherever we point the mouse he's turning oh almost got me there and fingers crossed when we left click now hey it creates a bullet and there we go and when the bullet hits the enemy object the enemy object is destroyed fantastic there we go brilliant stuff okay let's get this last one there we go, gotcha. Fantastic. So we know that that's working now, but now we come to our next problem, which is that we've killed all the enemies and the game's still going. And obviously that's not going to be very exciting now. It's almost a bit of a massacre. So let's click the X button. What we want to do now is we want to make it so that the enemy object keeps on spawning throughout the game. Now we've already got a spawner object here that's spawning, spawning, spawning uh, our coins every two seconds. Uh, what we can do to make it a bit more interesting is we can tell it that when alarm zero goes off as well as creating an instance of the coin we're also going to create an instance so create instance of the enemy object 
there we go and we'll tick relative to where the spawner is and we'll click OK now that means that every two seconds we're going to create a new enemy but that enemy is going to spawn into the game wherever the, the spawner is and that's going to be a bit predictable so we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our enemy object and we're going to go into the create event that we've already put in and what we want to do is say that whenever an enemy object is created we want it to jump to a random position so here we go under the move tab of the actions we've got jump to random we'll drag that across and click OK all the sentences are fine and if we click OK again and let's click the the, the crate level and let's see if they start spawning in and spawn into a random location now I'll get on my mouse and get ready for this this should make it a bit more hectic and a bit more exciting for our player All right, okay so one two oh there's another one there we go got him there we go fantastic so we can see every two seconds we create another enemy along with another coin so very hectic brilliant stuff okay so what I want you guys to do is load up game maker okay have a little go do your first little bit of game maker language okay to set the image angle to, to follow the mouse uh, create a bullet, uh, bullet sprite and then create a moving instance of the bullet and let's see what we can do, try and make it as interesting as we can. Uh, best of luck, thank you very much.